गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू द लाइव टुडे बहुत बहुत स्वागत आप सभी लोगों का आज के लाइव में आई प्रोमिस यू दैट आई विल ट्राई एंड कवर फ्यू मोर इम्पोर्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्यू मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट रूल्स ओवर द वीकेंड एंड फॉर्चुनेटली आई डिड मैनेज टू स्क्वीज सम टाइम ऑफ माई रूटीन एंड आई थॉट आई क्विकली रन थ्रू दो टू रूल्स विच आर वेरी स्मॉल but they carry a lot of importance and i think they are one of the most uh uh utilized rules but also at the same time the most misunderstood rules of all time so welcome uh all hello to everyone neha modern mariner rj globe trotter mukesh everybody is welcome to the live bahut bahut shukriya aap logo ka and to my friends those who are not active seafarers but are land lovers then today again we are talking about how do ships they navigate uh safely and without actually being in active communication how do we still engage to resolve a situation if at all it develops now friends ships are uh, their size length shape it varies you know they can be as large as 400 meters and they can be as small as 5 meters 10 meters so the most important part is passing each other at a safe distance the safety of the crew safety of the vessel safety of environment and safe navigation is the rule is the reason we have these rules today we are going to primarily talk about rule number 14 the head on situation i think it's quite a favorite when it comes to rules and the second rule is rule number 15 and that's the crossing situation so these two rules we are going to quickly cover today so the we are going to start with rule number 14 today again the last rule which we covered in the live was rule number 13 and it is applicable when two vessels are in line are in sight of each other likewise rule 14 and 15 guys these two rules are applicable when the vessels are in sight of each other yani jab main aapko visually dekh sakta hu 14 and 15 or any rule which is in section 2 is not applicable when vessels are not in sight of each other or otherwise in restricted visibility so remember guys the thumb rule for applying rule 13 14 and 15 is that the vessel must stay in sight of each other now the beauty of rule number 14 the key the key is rule number 14 is the only rule i would say which puts onus of action very clearly on both the vessels involved ye sir akela aisa rule hai jo bilkul clearly bolta hai ke dono ka action lena hai aur clearly bolta hai so we'll quickly run through the rule like i say whenever you're reading the rules of the road mark each word because if you miss a word the meaning of the rule is is going to change entirely and like i said rule 14 or 15 are one of the most easiest rules but at the same time one of the most chai pee lo <laughs> nikhil definitely hai chai banata hu bagal mein rakhi hui hai saath tune bola hai to main chai bana leta hu apna coffee ka setup dikha deta hu fatafat ye apna gareeb ki coffee ki dukaan hai sabse pehle maine aati isko khareeda tha coffee ke bina mera din nahi chal sakta to abhi ready ho jayegi nikhil ke bolne pe meri coffee main apne viewers ki advice bahut seriously leta hu तो निखिल ने बोला कॉफी पियो तो कॉफी पी लेंगे चाय नहीं कॉफी पी लेंगे चाय बनाने में थोड़ा टाइम लग जाएगा ओके कमिंग बैक टू द टॉपिक एंड नॉट गेटिंग डिस्ट्रेक्टेड साथ में कॉफी का जुगाड़ भी कर लेते हैं आप लोगों से बात करते करते घर पे थे तो कॉफी बनी बनाई मिल जाती थी अब बनानी पड़ती ओके कमिंग बैक रूल नंबर फोर्टीन एंड फिफ्टीन वन ऑफ द मोस्ट मिस अंडरस्टूड रूल्स एंड आई टेल यू वाई दीज रूल्स आर ऑफन मिस अंडरस्टूड एंड नॉट टेकन द वे दे आर सपोज टू बी ओके नाउ लेट्स रीड द रूल वर्ड बाय वर्ड वट डज रूल नंबर फोर्टीन से इज फोर्टीन इज हेड ऑन सिचुएशन वेसल नीड्स टू बी इन साइट ऑफ इच अदर दोनों को एक दूसरे को विजुअली देखना जरूरी है ओके वेन नाउ द की वर्ड्स प्लीज आपको मेरे को नीचे कॉमेंट सेक्शन में टाइप करके बताना इसमें की वर्ड कौन सा आया है विच विल रिजल्ट इन टू वेसल एंगेजिंग एज पर द रूल सो लिसन केयरफुल एंड आई होप यूल राइट इट इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन वेन टू पावर ड्रिवन वेसल्स आर मीटिंग ऑन रेसिप्रोकल और nearly reciprocal courses so as to involve remember guys 
so as to involve risk of collision. Each shall alter her course to starboard. Now there are keywords, huh? So that each shall pass on the port side of the other. So if I break the rule down, there are very every word is important, but there are keywords. जो आपको अलग से highlight होके देखने चाहिए. The keywords is two power driven vessels. So head on situation. Resolving a situation as per Rule 14 requires two power-driven vessels. You cannot say one power-driven and one fishing vessel, so both will alter course to starboard. No. If there is a power-driven vessel meeting a fishing vessel on reciprocal or nearly reciprocal course, or she she is meeting a ram vessel on uh, reciprocal course or nearly reciprocal course, or she is meeting an NUC, Rule 14 is not going to apply because it requires two power-driven vessels. But if you are meeting a constraint by draft on reciprocal course. then rule number 18 will take precedence and though cbd being a power driven vessel you are supposed to keep out of the way but remember so first so first requirement for you to apply rule 14 is that the examiner in real life at sea both the vessels must be power driven vessels don't expect a fishing vessel to go starboard to you or you are not expected to go starboard either you can go port or starboard depending which side the net is this also happens in case of a ram vessel you know which is showing two red lights on the starboard side you will not go to starboard because she is showing, showing that the hazard lies on the starboard side so you will decide your action action basis which which side the net is or the obstruction is so head on situation to get to engage as per head of head on situation you need to be in line of sight and the second is you must both vessels should be power driven both vessels should be power driven remember guys okay सो so, पहला आपको ट्रैप से बचना है दैट यू हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट बोथ द वेसल्स इन्वॉल्व इन दैट सिचुएशन आर पावर ड्रिवन वेसल्स एंड दे बोथ शुड बी मीटिंग ऑन रेसिप्रोकल और नियरली रेसिप्रोकल द वर्ड इज रेसिप्रोकल द वर्ड इज नॉट ऑपोजिट द वर्ड इज रेसिप्रोकल एंड द वर्ड इज कोर्स इट डज नॉट से कोर्स ओवर ग्राउंड इट डज नॉट से कोर्स ओवर वॉटर द वेन इट सेज रेसिप्रोकल और नियरली रेसिप्रोकल कोर्स इज मीन्स The rules of the road are based on your aspect, how you appear, not what exactly you are doing. So, if you appear to me like this, irrespective of what the wind is or current is and what you are trying to counter, if I see you like this, I'll take you and I'll take action as per how I see you. So, if I see you right ahead, it it doesn't matter what drift you are trying to counter, what set you are trying to counter, I'll take action as you appear to me. So, the word course here is basically your heading. So, your aspect is how I will. interpret the situation and how i i will act upon that situation okay so as to involve risk of collision now second is kai log poochte what if she is passing at two nautical miles three nautical miles there has to be a risk of collision so the key points before i can engage as per head on situation is in line of sight of each other both has to be power driven vessel we have to be meeting on reciprocal or nearly reciprocal courses and it has to be a situation in which risk of collision is involved okay now if such is the situation if, and if we have qualified for the head on situation under rule 14 then what are we supposed to do well then both both means agar ye ek jhaaj hai ye dusra jhaaj hai opposite aa raha hai opposite aa raha hai aaj bahut fumble kar raha hu aaj are bhai mera pen kidhar hai oh mil gaya mera pen so if aapne wo teer lagte hue dekhe mahabharat mein teer takrate hain aise teer takrate hain aise toot jate hain this is exactly what head on situation is that both has to be on reciprocal courses or nearly nearly means thoda aaju baaju hai everybody asks me then what should both do the both should alter so this is the only rule which puts onus of taking the action on both the vessels clearly then both it uses the word both crossing situation doesn't use both uh, puts onus on both it says one should take action first overtaking scenario onus is put more on the vessel which is overtaking you but this is the only rule which clearly says both vessels so always remember before you pick up the vhf ask yourself have i taken the action no in head on situation never ever touch the vhf you don't have to know what the other is going to do you need to know what you are going to do alter course to starboard and be happy yes how many degree it comes nearly reciprocal i'll come to that you guys i was just about to come to that so we will both Going to alter course to starboard. तो आप दोनों opposite ऐसे आ रहे थे आप दोनों starboard से चले गए situation clear हो गई इसमें क्या difficult है कुछ difficult नहीं है Keywords again, वर्ड्स अगेन बिफोर यू से दैट आई एम एंगेजिंग एज पर रूल नंबर फोर्टीन लाइन ऑफ साइट बोथ हैव टू बी पावर ड्रबल बोथ हैज टू बी ऑन रेसिप्रोकल और नियरली रेसिप्रोकल कोर्सेज 
courses means in more means heading your heading how you are appearing your course over water not your course over ground and there has to be a risk of collision so both are going to alter course to starboard and resolve now what do we mean when we say nearly reciprocal well if you see the verdicts of the court this is not quoted in the rules of the road but this is what i've gone online and i've checked usually in the court of law they will accept anything six degrees on the either side of the course means if the opposite course is if you are doing zero 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 and the other guy is doing one eight zero so six degrees on the either side so zero zero six to three five four so uh, you will have a your angle your your vision when we say uh, nearly this has to be 12 degrees so agar ye mera view viewing angle hai so 12 degrees ka arc aap 6 degrees and 6 degrees maan ke chal sakte hain in the during the time of aspect in the day time night time mein aapko koi doubt hi nahi hona chahiye because night time ke liye i will give you the most important tip of how to whether make how to conclude whether you are on a head on situation or not so please stay tuned and pay attention to what i'm going to tell you in part b so during the day time 6 degrees more or less rough roughly you can say that if you are this is 000 then 6 degrees on the either side if you see the other vessel you can say that you are you are nearly on reciprocal courses and you are going to act accordingly and alter course to starboard now let's come to part b and i'm now we are going to talk about why in night this 6 degree rule is not required at all you can resolve the situation just how the lights appear to you and let's see how and again again i'm i'll put emphasis on the fact that you need to read each word because the answer to resolve this situation during the night is in one of the words and you will see how small that word is but it will change the entire meaning of the rule now let's read the rule 14 part b are you guys with me i hope you are so 6 degrees on either side as per the court of law more or less बट कोई डिफाइंड रूल नहीं है आप 6.1, 6.5 बोल के कौन तैरागी मत करिए दिस इज सो जस्ट सिक्स डिग्री थिंग ओके ओके लेट्स गो पार्ट बी वाई एम आई नर्वस टूडे आप लोगों ने नर्वस कर दिया क्वेश्चन पूछ लेते हो कभी भी ना तो आई थिंक यू एज एम मेकिंग इन नर्वस ओके एनी रूल फोर्टीन पार्ट बी सच अ सिचुएशन शेल बी डीम्ड टू एग्जिस्ट कॉफी बन गई भाई shall be deemed to exist when a vessel sees the other okay such situation deem matlab aap maan sakte hain deem matlab aap maan sakte hain to exist when a vessel sees the other ahead or nearly ahead that means 6 degrees and by night and by night she could see the masthead light of other in line और नियरली इन लाइन मीन्स अगर आपको दोनों मास्ट हेड लाइट अगर आपको ये अगर आपको ऐसा सीनेरियो दिख रहा है यू नो इन लाइन और नियरली इन लाइन सो दीज आर द टू मास्ट हेड लाइट ये आगे वाली लाइट हो गई पीछे वाली लाइट हो गई आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू बाय द एग्जांपल तो अगर आपको ऐसे नजर आ रहा है मतलब थोड़ा सा जहाज का कोर्स ऐसा है थोड़ा सा जहाज का कोर्स ऐसा है दिस इज लाइन दिस इज इन लाइन आपको दोनों आगे एक दूसरे के पीछे दिख रही है दिस इज नियरली इन लाइन सो आपको अगर एक जहाज ऐसे नजर आ रहा है इन लाइन और नियरली इन लाइन बट दिस इज नॉट द ओनली थिंग this is one of the things pay attention to what it follows with that sh- by night she could see the mast headlights of other in line or nearly in line and the most important part, part and both or both side lights so side lights ka dikhna compulsory hai both so in case you can see the mast headlights in line or nearly in line which will never be the case and you are only able to see one side light it's not a head on situation in night the rule says for you to conclude that it's a head on situation you should be able to see mast headlights in line or nearly in line and or both yani ya to aapko dono side kyunki ho sakta hai jahaz chhota ho to usne mast headlight na ho usne sirf side lights laga rakhi ho lantern laga rakho it is compulsory for you to see both side lights so in night if you can see the mast headlights nearly in line but you can see only one side light you have to treat that situation as a crossing situation Not a head-on situation because head-on situation के लिए it is compulsory that with the mast headlight you have to see both side light. The word is and or means या तो mast headlights के साथ या mast headlight के बिना both side lights. It it is it does not say side light. It says and or both means both side lights should be visible. That is when you are going to consider. If it is more than that and one of the side lights is not not visible, it's on the shadow sector. That means 
the vessel the aspect of the vessel is more of a crossing vessel than of a head on vessel so this is the key in the night time and henceforth you really don't require the 6 degree rule in the night time the 6 degree rule is only during the day time when you are watching the corresponding aspect of the other vessel so 6 degrees on the either side during the day time more or less so if you are doing 000 so 006 and 354 so 12 degrees arc if there is anything just lump sum you can assume this this is a crossing situation Uh, sorry it's a head on situation and act accordingly that means auto course to starboard provided both are power driven vessel secondly in night both the mast lights have to be in line or nearly in line with both side light guides i'm telling you time and again the key word here is you must be able to see both the side lights together if you cannot see one side light you are you are not going to treat it as a head on situation it will be resolved as a crossing situation provided again both the vessels involved are power driven vessels and both the vessels are in light of line of sight of each other and involve risk of collision moving ahead so and during the day time she observes corresponding aspect of the other vessel so this is part b now coming to part c i hope i am keeping it interesting boring nahi ho raha the last part when a vessel now this why this point is very important now we have already okay uh, the vessel is nearly alternate Absolutely, it does not say it has. You have to be on the starboard side. It says nearly in line. So nearly in line, so दोनों हो सकते हैं ना आप आप जहाज को ऐसे भी देख सकते हो अगर nearly in line देखो ये भी तो nearly in line है ये जहाज है आपको दिख रहा है ये आपका nearly in line है ये in line हो गया और ये तो depend. It does not matter whether you whether the vessel is on the fine on starboard, fine on port. That's why I told you six degrees on the either side. It does not matter. It matter if the vessel is fine on your starboard or fine on your port. If you are involved in meeting the other vessel in reciprocal or nearly reciprocal course, please. Most of you guys have. I will come back to it. I will answer that question. Ah, uh, Chief Engineer Pranit, come message. Yes, sir. I am really sorry. I waited. Your live is over. Eight o'clock. I saw the update. I am really sorry. I have started this live on top of your live. I am really sorry because you were here at twelve. After that, I had to go to sleep. So please accept my apologies. नेटवर्क के चक्कर में स्टार्टेड लेट नॉर्मली आर एफ सो यस यस चीफ प्रनीत सर का साहब का मैसेज आ रहा है रियली सॉरी प्रनीत साहब आई एम रनिंग दिस लाइफ इन ओवरलैप विद योर लाइफ आई एम रियली सॉरी प्लीज एक्सेप्ट माय अपॉलॉजीज बोथ हैंड्स फोल्डेड दोबारा ये गलती नहीं करूंगा लाइफ कैंसिल ही कर दूंगा बट आई थॉट एक वीकेंड पर मौका मिलता है तो चालू कर दू बारह बज गए थे यहाँ पर फिर मेरे को सोने जाना था सो प्लीज एक्सेप्ट माई अपॉलॉजीज और जो बच्चों को वहां पर प्रनीत सर का लेक्चर अटेंड करना है कर लीजिए बिकॉज मेरा लाइफ यहाँ सेव होगा उनका भी सेव होगा बट अगर आप बेसिक If you are more interested in how to join Merchant Navy, then immediately leave this live and go and continue with his live. Reason being, he is going to tell you how to join and answer your queries. This live is some for people who are already actually sailing or are already trained or getting trained. So, कोई भी अगर ऐसा बच्चा है यहाँ पर है, so I will immediately request him to move to the live which is being conducted by Chief Engineer Pranit. And please accept my apologies, sir. आज थोड़ा सा overlap हो गया, गलती हो गई. आगे से नहीं करूँगा. Okay. Part C is when a vessel is in any doubt. Now, this is the answer. अगर आपको डाउट हो रहा है कैप्टन सिंस ने बोला छह डिग्री है आपने बेरिंग लिया सात डिग्री आ रहा है आपने बोला शिट यार अब क्या करूं छह के एक डिग्री बाहर निकल गया उसका आंसर ये व्हेन अ वेसल इज इन डाउट अभी कुश शर्मा ने जो क्वेश्चन पूछा वो डाउट में है कि अगर वो मेरे स्टाबोर्ड में है फाइन ऑन स्टाबोर्ड में तो मुझे जाना चाहिए यस वाई वेन अ वेसल इज इन डाउट एज वेदर सच अ सिचुएशन एग्जिस्ट शी शेल एज्यूम दैट इट डज एग्जिस्ट एंड एक्ट अकॉर्डिंगली इसका मतलब क्या है इफ यू आर इन डाउट कि यार नियरली इन लाइन है इन लाइन है यू आर ऑलरेडी इन डाउट सो पहला काम क्या है वेन इन डाउट कॉल द मास्टर एंड रिमेम्बर द की वर्ड एयर इज ये वर्ड्स मेरे नहीं है ये कैप्टन रवि के फादर के वर्ड्स हैं दैट द फैक्ट दैट यू आर थिंकिंग वेदर यू आर इन डाउट यू आर ऑलरेडी इन डाउट ये बात मुझे उन्होंने बोली थी मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल नो दैट इफ इन डाउट यू आर सपोज टू कॉल द मास्टर But the fact that you are thinking about it, that you are whether you are in doubt or not, you are already in doubt. Call the master first thing first. Inform the master that sir, I'm li li little confused. I see the other vessel fine on my starboard bow. I'm not much convinced. Take his advice. He may not even come up on the bridge. Ask him. Remember, guys, you don't have to resolve everything alone. But if you are in doubt, you are alone. You have decided to take the action. Remember, go as per the rules. Because even if things go south. Something goes wrong. You will still be able to back yourself up with quoting this rule. But if we have gone to port, now remember. in line or nearly in line or you are in doubt you will still comply with this rule and act accordingly now why this happens isko assume karne ke liye isne kyun bola isliye bola because first kijiye just assume there are two power driven vessel you see the other one coming down 
fine on your starboard side you go to starboard now let's assume this vessel assumes that she is not on a head on course she is crossing you what is she going to do as per rule number 15 jis pe main abhi nahi aaya hu aa jata hu but jyada logo ko pata hai she is on fine on your starboard bow okay what is she going to do she is going to maintain her course and speed you have altered course to starboard you will pass clear worst come to worst she will not do anything because she will assume that she is on your starboard side and you are supposed to keep clear okay maine course alter kara maine nikal gaya now let's assume she was on my fine on port bow theek hai and i am unsure and i decided to alter course to starboard as per this rule what is this vessel going to do if she confuses herself not as a head on situation but confuses herself to be a crossing situation well in this case you are on her starboard side she will alter course to starboard you will alter course to starboard so even if you assume wrong it will still resolve the situation that's why it's the rule says that if you are in doubt you can assume you are head on and you it will still be making the error on the safer side that though you are not sure ho sakta hai ye jahan sure nahi hai isne bola nahi 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 bhai mere liye to ye crossing situation hai i am fine on the starboard bow but you as a diligent seafarer and as a diligent smart officer of the watch you will say okay i assume this is a crossing situation it's very very close to uh sorry you will assume it to be a head on situation and you will coast alto coast to starboard what is she going to do if she assume she is a head on head on situation she is in a head on situation she will alto coast to starboard situation is all if she assume she is not going to alter she is a stand on vessel you are on a uh, she is on your starboard side she will maintain her course and speed if you alter again situation is all now what is wrong is that you alter course to port for this vessel and at the very last moment as the distance decreases she also decides to go to port now imagine if this happens here you will end up colliding so never go to port i will not say never avoid because it will complicate the situation either you will pass ahead of the vessel or if at very last moment she decides to alter course to starboard or to port you never know it will complicate the situation overall so is chakkar mein mat padho so that is why if you assume this is to be a head on and act accordingly if she is on fine on the port you alter course to starboard she assume she is a crossing she will also alter course to starboard again is also that's why this is the only rule in the rule of the road which puts onus of taking action on both the vessels coffee taiyar thandi ho jayegi to thoda sa le lo aaj running warning nahi kari thoda sugar free ke sath coffee pee lete hain baat karte karte waise 12 baje coffee nahi peeni chahiye kyunki fir neend nahi aayegi bada ban gayi hai to peeni padegi bhai theek hai chalo so this was head on situation so any time you see this man i have seen this very like this temptation you know that ah she is fine on starboard and let me go to port thoda port chala jata hu you know 5 degree port de deta hu so she will pass because if you go to port and she comes to starboard at the very last moment collision guys that's why this situation has put like all ranks in maximum trouble this tendency to go to port you will continue to go to port she will continue to go to starboard why she is following the rule You are the one who has contravened. Why? Because you want to stick to the coast line. Arey, yar, shit. Ye fine on starboard ki mil gaya. Arey, bhai, tumhe kisne roka? If there is sufficient sea room, just alter by fifteen, twenty degrees. Come to starboard. And even if she is not altering, you alter course good by fifteen, twenty degrees, and let her see your side light. You know clearly that she knows that you have altered course and you are going to stay clear. That way, is both are in peace. Otherwise, majority of people, what they are going to do? ओके okay, देखते हैं इसको देखते हैं और फिर परेशान रहेंगे अच्छा कहाँ गया कहाँ गया क्लियर हो गया कि नहीं हो गया अरे भाई अब तुम में इतने गट्स हैं तो देन होल्ड ऑन टू योर नर्व्स पर वो नर्व्स तो व्हाई डू यू हैव टू वेट दैट द वेसेस शुड कम सो क्लोज वेरी वेल ओके टेकर ऑन हैंड ये टिपिकल सिनेरियो है ब्रिज का ओके टेकर ऑन हैंड स्टावर्ड टेन अब उसमें फिर उनके हेल्प ऑर्डर भी गलत होंगे ना यू ट्राइंग टू टर्न द वेसल अराउंड गो अ लिटिल मोर बोल्ड ऑन द हेल्प ऑर्डर डिपेंडिंग ऑन द काइंड ऑफ शिप्स कंटेनर शिप्स पर मत जाना भाई कंटेनर गिर जाएंगे देन यू विल बी लाइक ओके टेकर ऑन हैंड ऑल्टो कोर्स ओके टेन डिग्रीज टू स्टावर्ड कितना आ गया ओके थ्री थ्री जीरो थ्री फाइव जीरो फिर धड़ाधर धड़ाधर ऑल्टर करेंगे क्यों भाई वाई डिड यू एंड अप इन दिस सिचुएशन वाई बिकॉज शुरू में यू आर लाइक माच ओन इट्स टू अर्ली इट्स टू अर्ली बट वाई यू नो दैट दैसेस आर इन्वॉल्व इन इसको कोलिजन अगर आपको पंद्रह माइल पे बारह माइल पे लग रहा है कि इसका सीपीएस सेम रहने वाला है देन राधर देन ऑल्टरिंग ब्लडी थर्टी डिग्रीज इवन बिफोर द रिस्क ऑफ कोलिजन स्टार्ट्स टू बिल्ड अप एंड क्रिएट टेंशन या तो तभी क्लियर हो जाओ पांच छह डिग्री देकर के भाई रिस्क ऑफ कोलिजन था ही नहीं मैं उससे पहले हट गया ना तो मैंने होने दिया और ना मैंने उसको क्रिएट होने नीदर आई अलाउड इट टू जनरेट एंड नीदर आई अलाउड इट टू फ्लरिश उससे पहले हट गया मैं दूर से देखा भैया आ रहा है सीपीएस जीरो दिखा रहा है पांच डिग्री देखे जब तक वो रेंज में आया सेवन एट माइल्स यू आर ऑलरेडी क्लियर बाई टू थ्री माइल्स या इफ यू आर डूंग इट एट सेवन एट नॉटिकल माइल्स 
reciprocal. Remember, both the vessels are approaching on relative speed. So if she is doing 15 knots, she is doing 15 knots, 30 knots is the relative speed. So if the CPA is, I would say, if you first, if you are 30 miles from one another, you are going to take one hour to approach. If you are 15 miles away, you are going to just take half an hour to approach each other. And if you are 7 miles away, you just have 15 minutes. And if you are 3 miles, you just have little over 7 not seven minutes. Imagine your AB is going to come, take over every minute, every second, you will continue. And in that panic, if the other decides to do something funny, you will have no time to correct it. That's why head-on situation, be very careful, resolve it as soon as possible do not wait till the last moment varna itni himmat rakho ke fir 7 8 mile tak usko sirf aaram se tasalli se khade ho ke observe kar rahe ho lagatar coffee ki chai piche wahan aap jayenge chai ki to kitna ho gaya dikh raha hai kya alter ho gaya kya are bhai now you have decided that you are going to alter course not at 12 nautical miles i'll you will allow her to come all the way till 8 till the time you will monitor her so monitor her nahi us beech mein bhi tension rahegi are binocular se dekhna kya kar raha hai alter kara kya ha lag raha hai sir thoda kara hai acha thoda kara hai ha नहीं लग तो नहीं रहा हेडिंग कितनी थी हेडिंग कितनी अरे भाई जो डिसीजन दिया उस पे बने रहो और इफ यू डिसाइडेड दैट यू विल ऑल्टर एट अराउंड 7 माइल्स और 8 माइल्स और 9 माइल्स एक्चुअली हेड ऑन के लिए 8 इज द रिकमेंडेड बाय मोस्ट ऑफ द कंपनी सो 8 नॉटिकल माइल तक हट जाओ उसके रास्ते से एंड डू नॉट वरी इफ शी इज ऑल्टरिंग और नॉट यू कैन रिजॉल्व द सिचुएशन बाय योर ओन मैनुअल अलोन ओके सो देयर इज नो रीजन फॉर यू टू पिक अप can I ETO become superintendent? Of course, ETOs can become superintendent. अपनी रोमिता बंदेला हैं, she is a ETO superintendent. बिल्कुल आप लोग superintendent बन सकते हैं, ETOs भी superintendent बन सकते हैं. तो this was rule number 14. Now coming to rule number 15. इसी का बड़ा भाई कह सकते हैं. Again, very very important for you guys to understand क्योंकि इसमें कई लोग बहस करते हुए देखें, एक fishing vessel आ रहा है तेरे यहाँ से, तेरे starboard side में तो क्या action लेगा? भाई मैं starboard चला जाऊँगा. Why? Why? Rule number 15 crossing. Aray bhai. Padto lo rule number 15 kya kehta hai? Just like rule number 14, rule number 15 bhoat seedha saadha hai. But woh kehta hai mujhe dhang se padlo kyunki mein sirf 5 line ho ka rule hoon. What does it say? Again, when two power driven vessels are crossing so as to involve risk of collision. Again, recap. Rule number 15 applicable kab hooga? Both have to be in line of each other, line of sight of each other. They both have to be, they both have to be power driven vessel. Only then you can say that I took the action as per rule number 15. And they both have to be involved in a crossing situation involving risk of collision. So, is my keywords kya hai? In sight of each other. Agar aapko koi situation de raha hai, aapka examiner, aapka captain, ya first ki ji in real life. First tick mark. Is the vessel in line of sight of each other? Can I see her visually? Yes. Okay. Now, let's move on to the next step. Is she crossing or head-on? Well, the lines, but the lights are not nearly in line or I cannot see both the side lights. I can see only one side light. Okay, so that means tick number two, both are in sight of each other. Both are power-driven vessel. You are both involved in a crossing situation and involving risk of collision. Now you can say, okay. Now start thinking about what does rule 15 says. Otherwise, usse pehle hi ruk jau. So, tell me in Hindi the meaning of the rule. Okay, I'll, 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 keep it in, I'll keep it mixed. Because both, uh, uh, you know, primary language on board is English. And I've got people, I've got uh, people watching who will be, like, they want me to also speak in English. But if you say in Hindi, mein I'll keep it in Hindi. But trust me, rules of the road, you can't explain in Hindi in the, to an MMD surveyor. So, there is actually no point. But okay, just for your understanding sake, I'll keep that in mind. The vessel has the other on her own starboard side. Ab itna complicated kyu likha? Because law is ne likha hai wahi. So when two power driven vessels are crossing, so as to involve risk of collision, the vessel which has the other. So vessel, this is my vessel which has the other. Yani ye wala vessel. So the a vessel which has the other on her starboard side. So iska starboard hi aur aapke liye opposite ho raha hoga mirror image se. So please thoda sa usko bear kijiye. She, this is my starboard side. I have the other vessel on my starboard side shall keep out of the way. So, if this is my vessel and I have the other vessel on my starboard side, I am supposed to stay clear. But how? Because I can go port as well and stay clear. I can reduce the speed and stay clear. And also if I alter course to starboard and pass turn, I can stay clear. Then what should I do? The rule further explains. Shall keep out of the way 
एंड शेल द वर्ड इज शेल द वर्ड इज कैन नॉट हम लोग कहीं बोलते हैं और क्रॉसिंग सिचुएशन यू कैन नॉट गो टू पोर्ट यू कैन नॉट कैन नॉट कैन नॉट नहीं है भाई इट इज शेल शेल इफ सरकम स्टांसिस ऑफ द केस एडमिट अब फर्ज कीजिए यू वॉन्ट टू गो टू स्टार बोर्ड पास टर्न बट यहां पर आपके शेलो पैच है तो आप क्या करेंगे वेल इन दैट केस आपको अपने इंजन मधुबरिंग के लिए रेडी रखना चाहिए रिड्यूस करेंगे स्पीड और इसको आगे से जाने देंगे यू विल नॉट पास एड बट फर्ज कीजिए स्टार बोर्ड में भी कुछ है पोर्ट में कोई छोटी मच्छी बोट है स्पीड भी कम नहीं कर सकते मधुबरिंग चली जाएगी तो क्या करेंगे वेल इन दैट केस यू विल सी वॉट इज मोस्ट फिजिबल सो इट द रूल गिव्स यू दी ऑप्शन टू गो टू पोर्ट बट इट टेल्स यू टू अवॉइड विल रीड द रूल and shall if the circumstances of the case admit that means i give you there is plenty room on the starboard side plenty room on the port side these are the only two vessels involved nothing other concerning on the uh, on the starboard side avoid crossing ahead of the vessel so it has never used the word that you cannot go to port theek hai ye isi tarike ki baat hoti hai ki jab aap se aapke papa poochte hain ki padhai kar raha hai ya nahi kar raha woh nahi kehte tu nahi kar raha ya tune kam kari woh poochte hain tu kar raha hai ya nahi kar raha answer aap ka answer decide karega mar kitni lagne wali hai so the rule never says that don't go to port don't go to starboard rule says bhai aisa action le kiske aage se na ja to aise mein option kya bache avoid unhone bola should avoid to aise mein action, do hi action bach gaye ya to speed reduce kar lo usko chale jane do bhai ko ya starboard ho ke nikal jao now why will i prefer starboard well rule number 7 and 8 alteration of the course will resolve the situation much early why it is readily apparent agar aapne speed kam kari ab main aapki taraf ye ye aage badha raha hu aapko pata lag raha hai maine kab speed kam kari या कब बढ़ा दी ये स्पीड का प्रॉब्लम है इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर अदर पर्सन टू रियलाइज एंड टेनलेस देर इज अ ड्रास्टिक चेंज इन द स्पीड टू रियलाइज दैट यू हैव ड्रॉप द स्पीड बिकॉज यू विल स्टिल मेंटेन द सेम लाइन ऑफ लाइन बट इफ यू इफ यू ऑल्टर यू सी द मोमेंट आई ऑल्टर यू कैन सी अगर ये पेन ऐसा दिख रहा है और मैंने ऐसा करा आपको तुरंत पता लग गया मैंने ये पेन घुमाया है बट फर्ज कीजिए स्पीड है आपको पता लग रहा है मैंने कब धीरे चला रहा हूँ पेन को कब तेज चला रहा हूँ आप मेरा इतना दूर से पेन को देख रहे हैं दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम विद स्पीड दैट दो द सिचुएशन इज गेटिंग रिजल्ट इट मे नॉट बी अपरेंट टू द अदर शिप और वो उस पैनिक में खुद भी एक्शन ले सकता है और गलत भी एक्शन ले सकता है यू एट ऑल टाइम्स यू ट्राइंग टू रिजॉल्व द सिचुएशन इन अ वे दैट इट डज नॉट क्रिएट कंफ्यूजन इन माइंड ऑफ द अदर पर्सन बिकॉज यू नेवर नो हु सिटिंग ऑन द अदर साइड एंड व्हाट इज हिज अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द रूल अब हर किसी को तो हम नहीं पढ़ा रहे ना सो दैट इज वाई ऑल्ट्रेशन ऑफ द कोर्स अब देखिए कितना अच्छा है ऑल्ट्रेशन अभी आपको पैन क्लियरली आपको दिख रहा है ऐसा अगर मैंने ये पैन ऐसा घुमाया आपको पता लग जाएगा कि ये पैन घुमा है इसमें कोई डिनाई नहीं कर सकता बट वेन वी आर मूविंग लाइक दिस You have to be very, very careful. The other person has to be monitoring your speed from the time he has plotted till the time you have stopped or you have reduced, and he, he must have the situational awareness. That okay, twelve knots, that means eight. Then he has reduced the speed. But alteration of course is something that even if he, he did not monitor what was your initial course or final course or once you altered, he can just tell by the way you are appearing. That yes, brother, he is going to go. So alteration of the course, if sea room is available, is always a preferred way. It is always going to resolve the situation much early, and that is what you want. So. The rule does not say you cannot go to port. The rule says avoid crossing. Sir, you should be at Com Cambridge University. No, no, lawyers can't rule. Can't learn it. You will be shocked how each word has a meaning. And my understanding, I would say, is only thirty percent of the rule. ठीक है ना? Remaining seventy percent, it's so deep. And इतने rules आप एक दूसरे का overlap करते हैं ना? That's where the lawyer changes the game. They don't take each rule as independent. the maximum number of rules the more number of rules you can overlap and connect to each other the better is the understanding so whenever i am explaining this rule to a more senior officer i will not just couple rule 15 i will involve rule number 2 i will involve rule number 7 and 8 i will involve rule number 18 aur usko mix karke main ek answer banaunga but because life pe wo bahut complicated ho jayega that's why i am not overlapping anything i'm just taking these rules rules stand alone the lawyers will wrap it up with one rule over the other it will it will be like apne patties dekhi hai समझ में नहीं आएगा घूम जाओगे कहां से मेरी गलती होगी भाई मैं तो स्टाबोर्ड ही गया था इस पर रूल नंबर फिफ्टीन बिकॉज ही विल इंक्लूड रूल नंबर टू ही विल इंक्लूड सेवन एट दैट द ऑल्ट्रेशन वाज नॉट वाइड एनफ इट वाज नॉट रेडीली अपरेंट टू द वेसल इट वाज नॉट डन इन एम्पल टाइम ब्ला 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 सो एंड सो फॉर सो री कैप वेन यू कंक्लूड दैट आई एम इन्वॉल्व इन अ क्रॉसिंग सिचुएशन फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट एम आई इन लाइन ऑफ साइट ऑफ इच अदर यस आई कैन सी दैट वेसल यूजली नाउ वॉट द मास्ट हेड आर इन लाइन or nearly in line but i cannot see both the side lights i can see only one side light so definitely i am involved in a crossing situation my cpa is showing zero or say like 0.2 0.3 so involves risk of collision both are power driven vessel yes it's a crossing situation i'll take action as per rule number 15 that means if the vessel is on my starboard side i will alter course to starboard or avoid passing ahead 
by reducing speed either ways avoid why why this is said the answer lies in rule number 16 and 17 jo hum agle live mein cover karenge par aapko isliye bata dun ki stand on vessel ke liye rule number uh, 16 hai na yeah give way is 16 and 17 is stand on अगर आप रूल नंबर 17 को देखेंगे तो रूल नंबर 17 में बोला हुआ है कि अगर ये वेसल एक्शन लेता है इन केस दिस वेसल टेक्स एक्शन रियलाइजिंग यू आर नॉट टेकिंग एक्शन शी इज एडवाइज टू गो टू स्टारबोर्ड सो इफ एट ऑल शी गोज टू स्टारबोर्ड लुकिंग एट यू आर नॉट टेकिंग एक्शन एंड यू एट वेरी लास्ट मोमेंट डिसाइड टू गो एज पर द रूल बोथ हैव ऑल्टर कोस टू स्टारबोर्ड वर्स के सीनारी यू हैव ऑल्टर कोस टू पोर्ट शी हैज गॉन टू स्टारबोर्ड अगेन द सिचुएशन इज इज ऑल्ड सो द रूल्स आर क्राफ्टेड इन अ वे दैट इवन इफ यू हैव मेड द फक अप or a mistake though you were a vessel who was supposed to take up take the action give away vessel this vessel by her maneuver alone remember so even if you are a stand on vessel you can still by your own maneuver alone resolve the situation just by complying the rules go to starboard let her go to starboard or port it will not create any problem for you because if she goes to port you have altered course to starboard situation resolved you have gone she has gone to starboard you have gone to starboard the cpa will be instead of 2 miles it will be 4 miles you can come back to the course but either way complying with these rules you will always pass safely you will always resolve the situation because you see she did not comply with the rules she has gone to port you have gone to starboard resolve she has complied with the rules gone to starboard situation resolved both are head on she was in doubt you were in doubt you both decided to go to starboard by assuming she it's a head on situation situation resolved problem is once you contravene with the rule ah fine on starboard thoda sa port chala jata and she says no i'm going to comply with the rule I'll, and then dono ek direction mein head karoge thank you so that's rule number 14 and 15 for you guys if in case you guys have any questions sorry agar maine comment section mein miss kar diya because when i'm talking i'm not reading much what are the yoda of merchant captain sir yaar ye yoda kya hota hai mera itna acha nahi hai jaldi karo agar bc karni hai to uske liye live dobara chalu karunga i don't want to keep this session long so whenever you guys come back i want this session to be small and precise not like Two hours long or something. So remember, head-on situation. Go. Let's recap. Kar dete hain aap logo ke liye. Head-on situation. Typically, what I've read online through the different verdicts of court. The court says six degrees on the either side of the heading. So during the this is only applicable during the daytime. So when will you say that I am in a head-on situation? First of all, you have to be in line of sight of each other. Both have to be power-driven vessels. That means the other vessel cannot be fishing vessel, sailing vessel, and you see ram. If those vessels are involved, you are resolving the situation by going port or starboard or redu- reducing reducing the speed, but not by applying rule number fourteen. Okay, so a child came here. Where did he sail? He said, "Sir, start R O R from the beginning." Okay, beginning se bhi kara denge, bhai. ठीक है. So twelve degrees ka R ka apply sakte hain. So if you are zero zero zero, so zero zero six and three five four. If the other vessel is at three five three, you are in doubt. You assume you are in a head on situation and act accordingly. That means go to starboard and resolve the situation. how when do we say that we are in a head on both power driven in line of sight of each other a uh, 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 meeting on reciprocal or nearly reciprocal courses involving risk of collision theek okay? hai so the word is courses the when when it say course not your your course over ground your course your heading how i see you is how i will decide because the rule says i will i should be able to see your masthead light in line or nearly in line and that will depend on your heading so both should alter course to starboard so that each shall pass on the port of other and never use these words like let's are uh, green to green port to port starboard to starboard tumhara havda uska fawda ho jayega aur lag jayegi never pick up a vhf in these situations the rules makes it ample clear bhai just assume you kuch nahi karega you assume mujhe hi sab kuch karna hai in compliance with the rule i'll go to starboard uh, side instead of going to 20 degrees and now i'll go to 25 theek hai and resolve it ye VHF से मोहब्बत छोड़ दो ठीक है रूल सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन वेन एवर इज माई नेक्स्ट लाइफ आई विल स्टार्ट रूल सिक्सटीन एंड सेवनटीन ओके एंड वेन इन नाइट द मास्ट हेड लाइट शुड बी इन लाइन और नियरली इन लाइन एंड यू शुड बी एबल टू सी बोथ द साइड लाइट और ओनली द साइड लाइट बट बोथ बोथ इफ यू कैन सी ओनली वन साइड लाइट नॉट द अदर साइड लाइट एज पर दिद इन द मीनिंग ऑफ द रूल्स इट्स नॉट अ हेड ऑन सिचुएशन सो रिमेंबर विद द मास्ट हेड लाइट और विदाउट द मास headlights for you to say that this is a head on situation you should be able to see both the side lights port and starboard both should be visible in the night time then only you will say that it was a head on situation in night time if you can see only one side light it doesn't matter whether the mast headlights 
are nearly in line or not because they will never be in line if you can see only one side light that means the you will never the aspect will be so inclined that it can never be uh, never fall in the category of uh, uh, head on situation so in 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 night if you can see both the side lights only then you will see that it's side on if you can see only one side light and continuously one light side one side light pitching pitching mein nahi ke aisa matlab agar tumhe dono side light dikh rahi hai beech beech mein then you will assume by part c that it is nearly in line or you are in doubt in that situation so you will assume that you are head on and alter course to starboard because the rule says that if you are in doubt whether such a situation exists or not then act accordingly because no vessel is steady sometimes you will see that are dono side light dikhi abhi ek hi dikh rahi hai fir dono dikhi fir ek dikh rahi hai because the vessel is yawing as well so you will assume in that case that yeah let's assume on the safer side that it's head on situation and take action why because if you assume it's a head on situation and the other one also assumes it's a head on situation you will both alter course to starboard if you assume it's a head on situation the other doesn't assume you are still altering course to starboard and resolving the situation so you are making the error on the safer side so that's rule number 14 and recapping rule 15 that is crossing when do we apply 14 both have to be in line of sight of each other both have to be power driven vessels that means if a power driven vessel is meeting the other non power driven vessel means a sailing vessel a fishing vessel um what do we call it trawler or a ram and you see you you can say to describe it as a crossing but rule number 15 as such is not applicable because rule number 15 is only applicable when two power driven vessels are involved in a crossing situation so as to involve risk of collision and provided both are in line of sight of each other if they are not in line of sight of each other there is restricted visibility rule number 15 will not be applicable because rule number 15 comes in part b section 2 which is applicable to line in sight of each other ah <sighs> okay genuine doubt when in doubt call captain genuine doubt if you are in doubt whether to call the captain or not you are already in doubt call the captain so that's the rule if you are in doubt to call the captain or not should i call him or not because he has written if you in doubt you the doubt has already started pick up the phone call him at least discuss with him he may not come on the bridge ek se do bhale ho sakta hai wo bhi wohi bole jo tum bol rahe ho mind declutter ho jayega bado ka aashirwad mil jayega aur mast kaam ho jayega okay so i think with that we will wrap up the live today bhai agar aapke pas pcm nahi hai तो आपको चीफ इंजीनियर प्रणीत का लाइव देखना चाहिए था पीसीएम नहीं है तो आप डेक साइड और इंजन साइड नहीं ज्वाइन कर सकते देन आपको यू टू ज्वाइन फ्रॉम जीपी रेटिंग ठीक है पीसीएम होना कंपलसरी है कैप्टन ऑफ योर ओन ओके सर योडा मींस कैप्टन ऑफ योर लाइफ एंड हेल्पिंग द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफिसर्स ऑन बोर्ड स्टूडेंट और प्लानिंग टू एंटर मर्चेंट नेवी थैंक यू फॉर हेल्पिंग अस बिकॉज इन यार जब आप ऐसा कुछ लिखते हो तो मेरे अंदर जो ना सुप्रीडेंट सिटिंग इन हांगकॉन्ग यू आर इंस्पिशन पीपल भाई थैंक यू वेरी मच जब आप कुछ ऐसा लिखते हो तो मतलब मेरे अंदर का जोश डबल हो जाता है मन करता है बाकी रूल्स भी पढ़ा दूँ बट नहीं पढ़ाऊंगा वरना आप लोग सो जाएंगे बहुत लेट हो जाएगा लाइफ बहुत लंबा हो जाएगा सो ऑन दो थॉट्स इट वॉज वंडरफुल होस्टिंग दिस लाइफ इतने लोगों ने देखा वो भी पढ़ाने वाला लाइफ तो मेरे लिए तो बहुत बड़ी बात है रूल फोर्टीन एंड फिफ्टीन आर कवर्ड सो वी हैव कवर्ड रूल नाइनटीन वी हैव कवर्ड रूल नंबर फोर्टीन वी हैव कवर्ड फिफ्टीन वी हैव कवर्ड we have covered 13 14 15 and 19 in great detail next live whenever i am planning i'll cover rules 16 and 17 and i hope you guys will join and in case you have got any other questions you can please ask me now related to rules no other questions will be entertained from my side request to conduct ror will be definitely addressed agar is live mein aapko kuch galat laga ho so please uh you can correct me and uh, i'll be happy to correct myself and have a better understanding taki agli baar kisi ko padhau to kam se kam tab to mere ko pata ho you have covered 6 also ye dekho ye ladka ek number hai yes are 6 bhi hai and i have covered 5 as well nahi 5 nahi 6 hi kar raha hai okay alpha 004 ka pin comment hoga comment pin hoga because ye ladka mere live seriously dekh raha hai vicky the sailor sir reply me no sir continue ओके एट ने थोड़ी ओके गुड फॉर यू एंड डू माइंड योर बिजनेस एज वेल अरे भाई ये क्या लड़ाई झगड़ा चालू हो गया है अरे भाई शांत हो जाओ लाइफ में झगड़ा मत करा करो आगे तुम लोग जो ना कोई ये कुछ बोलेगा दूसरा कुछ बोलेगा काउंटर करोगे एक दूसरे को कोई निंजा नहीं अरे भाई शांत हो जाओ शांत हो जाओ झगड़ा मत करो यहाँ पर झगड़े के लिए नहीं आर ओ सिचुएशन रिजोल्व करने के लिए होता है सिचुएशन बनाने के लिए नहीं होता आप लोग लड़ रहे हैं बहुत ऑल्टो कोस टू स्टावर्ड एंड क्लियर द सिचुएशन Yes I will save this I am a mariner from Kenya oh. 
भाई थैंक यू वेरी मच फ्रॉम ज्वाइनिंग फ्रॉम किन हालांकि इंटरनेट की वजह से तो सभी लोग इधर उधर हैं आई एम फ्रॉम आई एम इन हांगकॉन्ग एज ऑफ नाउ सो मैं भी लाइक आई एम क्वाइट फार अवे फ्रॉम यू आई रियली अप्रिशिएट थैंक यू अप्रिशिएट एज वेल भाई कोई आर ओ आर का क्वेश्चन आज नहीं पूछेगा कि एन यू सी आ रहा है सामने से वो आ रहा है तो कैसे मतलब आई डोंट थिंक सो चलो विद दो थॉट्स वी आर गोइंग टू रैप अप दिस लाइफ नॉर्मल क्वेश्चन के लिए आई विल रीस्टार्ट द लाइफ वंस आई रैप इट अप सो यू गाइज कैन ज्वाइन एंड देर आई कैन टेक जनरल क्वारीज आई डोंट वॉन्ट दिस लाइफ टू गो ऑन फॉर एवर सो दैट मैन एवर यू गाइज कम बैक यू नो दैट इट्स अ ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी मिनट्स वीडियो एंड यू गाइज कैन वॉच इट इन पीस सो विद दो थॉट्स थैंक्स लॉट फॉर ज्वाइनिंग ऑन द लाइफ टूडे आई लव अ सिप ऑफ माई कॉफी एंड ज्वाइन यू गाइज बैक इन अ मैटर ऑफ मिनट अंटिल सच टाइम टेक गुड केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ सलामत रहें खुश रहें मस्त रहें व्यस्त रहें एंड डू वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू डू मैन आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन मैन बट डू नॉट ट्रबल योर मदर एंड भारत माता मैन टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ स्टे सेफ आई सी यू ऑन द नेक्स्ट चीयर्स